about here and today I'm going to show you how to make this Luman cuff bracelet. Enjoy! To make this bracelet you will need different kind of Lumans and I'm using these colours as me and my mum are doing a frozen inspired bracelet. You will also need a round Luma 24 pegs, so I'm using this one and you will need some scissors um, and I'm using some blue ribbon so you can use any colour lumens and any colour ribbon that you like but this is just what I'm using as me and my mum are doing first and inspired. So my mum is putting on a band and she's twisting it into a figure array over two pegs like that. And then she takes her next colour and it does it again but she makes sure that it overlaps the one the last peg like she did. So it looks like that. And she will carry on doing that and overlapping till she has gone around the whole round loom of the 24 pegs. So I would suggest using the same colour to go all the way around your loom. You don't have to. Um, it's just my suggestion. Just easier when you're going to yeah. look at them, isn't it? Yeah, just easier when you put them on. So you can just pick them up and put them on. It will start to look like this. I forgot that you need a hook as well. Yes, you do need a hook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that how we... No. Put one in a minute. Yeah. So you all will be needing a hook. Sorry about that. <laughs> so my mum has almost put the band um, all the way around the loom. So when she does, I will run and grab a hook. And then we will carry on. Almost there. Now I just need to put one more on and then we have complete the hole in. So my mum's just to show it up, so this is what it should look like. So you should have two on each peg. Yep. So should I lap you? Yes. So, so we're just going to run and grab a hook. So I'm just going to quickly stop and go get one. We've quickly gone and grabbed a hook. So you can use a plastic one or a metal crochet hook. We are choosing to choose a plastic one. So then you get your next colour and you overlap it over two, but you don't twist it into the figure of eight this time. So it's basically the same stats, but you don't twist it. So you just carry on like last time, putting them on normally over two pegs and they're overlapping still. So there should be, when you finish putting them on, there should be three um, bands on each peg. Four. Four, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's overlapping it twice. Yeah, four. So if you already um, think this bracelet looks good and you already like the idea of it, please like this video. That's it. Make sure you don't get a thin band because you don't want it snapping. Yes, some bands are thin and if they snap, like when my mum had tried this, they snapped halfway through and she got really annoyed <laughs> and it was like just as she was taking it off, wasn't it mummy? It was, yeah. It's very annoying. Yeah. And keep going round. So just check um, every time you put a band on if it's thick or thin. If it's thin, then you don't want that band. So just make sure. So my mum has almost put them on all the way round. And after this, we should start the hooking process, shouldn't we? Mm -hmm. That's a different colour. <laughs> Yeah, I did put two different colours in there. Oh no. Mm, that's not helpful. Oh, I can see now, yeah. I've got a couple over there. Not to worry. We shall uh, 
sort it out. Yeah. I'm doing white after this anyway, aren't we? So yeah. Right, so there you go. So then it should look this it look like this it should have four band on each peg as they are overlapped. So just make sure that yours looks like this. So now we need to start the hooking process. So you go down and grab the bottom two bands and pull them over like that. So then they should go over to your um, top layer of bands. So then you carry on pulling your two bottom bands over and I would suggest pulling them over at the same time as it is a lot easier and it will look a lot nicer. So keep coming over. Oh, mummy, you missed one. Did I miss one? There. Oh, I did. So always make sure that you don't accidentally leave a band because I have done that when I've been trying this and it has been quite annoying. So just make sure. And if you do like Frozen, like this video, and if you've seen it, and I think it is very good, don't you, Mummy? I do, I do. It's a very good movie. Because my sister Annabelle loves it so much, we've watched it a lot of times. <laughs> she loves the song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? So, just need to lift up one more over. So, mm. after you've lifted them all over, it should look something like this. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything really now, does it? But no. <laughs> just push them down as well, it just helps, you know. Yes, so then your bands don't overlap and then you'll get very annoyed if you pull them over. Because on some bracelets you can't um, go back and you'll have to start all over again. So now you need to take your next colour, so our next colour is white. So like you did with your second layer of band, you put it over two pegs and make sure that you're overlapping them. So there should be four bands on each peg. We want to know our third. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just here on how many colours we're using, we're using five different colours, but you can use how many colours you like. You can even do like a proper multicoloured one. Nearly there. Mm -hmm. So these brace, this bracelet, this particular bracelet will take um, a bit of time, but don't worry, it's worth the wait and worth doing. Because my mum made me a lovely one and it is really, really cool. So it's definitely worth it. So we're almost on to the next hooking. One more band and then we can start hooking again. So now we need to start hooking. So like last time, you get the bottom two bands and you pull them over the top layer of bands, like that. So this bracelet has the continuous step that you need to keep going till you have it at the length that you want your bracelet.
So like my mum, she, did, she just made sure that the um, top layer bands weren't um, close to the bottom layer. Because like I said before, you don't want to end up pulling some of the top layer bands up over and then having to start again, which would be very, very, very annoying. So we are almost finished doing the hooking. So push your bands down again so that they aren't near to the bottom of your peg. Just need to make sure Annabelle doesn't wake up before we use this part. Yes. There we go, so we do our next colour. So yep. We've got a blue this time, haven't we? So we've got one more colour before we put the ribbon on. Yes. So go to the same process. Overlapping and putting it on her two pegs. Almost there, then you can start putting the ribbon on. So at the moment you can't really see anything coming down, but soon you will start seeing a big difference. It's a bit boring at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, is that them all done? Again, just pull over the two bottom bands over the two top bands. So then you'll only have two bands left on your peg. If you do go wrong and you find that you, but even at this stage, you have one of the other colours still there, just one of the bands. If you carefully lift over your top two and then you can just hook over that one and then pop them back over as well because that has happened to me when I was doing Ellie's so yeah. don't worry at that stage if you do have one that's there you can just carefully hook those over and then with another hook pull, pull the um, stray one there so it won't mess up your bracelet. Yeah because I when I was doing it when mummy taught me, I did that a lot and I pulled them over and it was very annoying. I think we have almost pulled over Not all of the bands. We might put the ribbon on now. Oh, there we go. So like I said, you can use any colour ribbon that you like, but I'm choosing a blue ribbon as I'm doing a frozen inspired bracelet. Are you done? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, if you would like to push all your bands down. Let me just see, you might do the ribbon now, you might do another one. Just see. 
just need to be able to get. So you are starting to see like a little something there, but not very big. But it will turn out um, a lot different later. So no, just we will do that one. We'll do the other one then we'll put the ribbon on. So just to warn you, this will be quite a long video. So you just do the same process for your next colour of bands. Overlapping and putting either two pegs again all the way round to you reach um, the end or where you started. So if you are wondering about like more Loom Man videos, um, on my iPad I do have some to put together and upload. So um, just to wait for that if you are um, really waiting for them. Because I know some people are waiting for more Loom Man videos. So I just wanted to tell you that. So we've almost put all the bands on and then it's ribbon time. Oh, yep. Yeah. So now just pull the bottom ones um, over to the top layer of your bands again. Um, so when you only have two bands on your peg. Mm -hmm. And if you do thin bands, they will snap if you're pulling them over. Because they will. <laughs> there's loads in it and they snap as she was putting the last ribbon on at the end. I think that was as well. I had my bands quite stretched because we did do it where it was a figure of eight over four pegs, um, and it was a much larger loom, and it um, they were just too stretched. So that's why we've done it just over the two because it's less likely to stretch and break and snap. Yes. So that's why we are suggesting two pegs. And also, it does become a lot smaller, as we found out the first time we did it. It was too small to be a bracelet. Yes, because we did it over three um, on this loom and a, another pink oh, loom. It's a smaller one, which has 18 pegs. But if you do want to make this one and a much smaller bracelet, it's ideal. But you can get, and you can see that, much yep. Bigger ones, and that's that one in the middle, which um, we've just put in there. One, yeah. Because that's just where we keep all our looms together, apart from the um, straight looms. That's where we keep like our circle looms. So is that the one? Let me just double check. Yeah, I think so. So I have made some monster high clothes off this loom. So um, I probably will be doing a video on how to do that very soon. I'm actually using the circular loom as well. Very cool because I'm thinking I could maybe do um, a custom doll when like my hands were a bit more steady and um, like for painting. So, so it should look like this. So we have put how many put on? We put five. Yes. Five so we've done colours. five. Well, we've done five rows, haven't yeah. we? So let me just double check. Up. So that's the one we're going to. I think that's the one we're going to take. Yeah. Looks like these two together. I think we'll take these two, which is actually it's your first two colours. So yeah. if you find those as you're going around, you will find them. You might need to stretch it out a bit to find them, but it, it won't break. It'll just need to be a bit stretched out to find them. Sure if, yeah, that's our first colour. That's our first two. So take your ribbon. Take your ribbon. And you want to put your was that our second that was our, it doesn't well you can be your first or your second colour to be to be honest um whatever you prefer and whatever that like you it's easiest find. to get because you'll find that one of them will be more in the bracelet more loose looser than the other one so you just want to take this 
and all you're going to do is thread it through yeah it's thread it through so I've actually taken my second one it will make a little frill when you do take it off the loom but all you're doing is basically threading your ribbon through don't pay it Pull it too hard or it will snap it may snap so you're using the ribbon instead of the s slip as it will probably take a lot of s slips for this if you were to use s slips and it probably would not work so again i this is my second color that i've pulled through sometimes it's your first it just depends on which one you can find but as long as it's your first or your second and sometimes you can put them both together depending on how it kind of feels so we're going just going through and we're just weaving it um through as so you can see my ribbon starting to fray so if your ribbon does start to fray and um, we can just put some um clear nail varnish on and that will stop it fraying also if you cut it at uh, an angle also helps Thanks. so if you would like to you can pause the video and run and grab some clear nail polish if your is frayed or is it if it's starting oh, you can to fray. Or you can do it at the end. Mm. Yeah. Depending mm. on what you want to do. So you just keep going. Till you get to where you started. Maybe we'll have to cut it so I'll do it halfway because I don't think I've pulled enough of this through. can see there again you just pick it up and push it through so you pick it up and you push it from the back to the front again with this one from the back through to the front so we start looking something like this you can see that okay yep and go in this is the boring bit yeah <laughs> my hands are hurting because I'm not used to doing the filming because my mum normally does the filming and today I am doing the filming yep. right I think we'll leave that there because you want it so you can tie like a nice little bow so what we'll do is we'll just cut off a bit more to about here because I say we do want to keep the length so you can tie a little bow so again, you're just doing the same, I'm just swipping, swipping, <coughs> swapping sides. So again, and let's go in three. Oh, I've just dropped all the bows, dearie me. Oh dear. You didn't drop too many. I think you only dropped one. Yeah. Hmm. Emily and I are enjoying a nice peaceful afternoon where her sister has a nap. Yes. Which is a wet, a wet, I can't speak today, <laughs> on a rare occasion. There we go, so we're on to the second from the last. So again, you just, so we're here, so I'll tell you what, if I do it that way, you'll be able to see. So if you pull up this one, they will be very easy, you'll see how easy they are to up so it's not like you have to hunt for them yeah. and then you just pulling it from the back through to the front and make sure you pull it all the way through otherwise you will have a big um kind of loop thing when you take it off there you can always sort it out so there you go so that's what it should look like now you should have that and in fact oh my goodness <laughs> So we're just going to pop it again, I think, through that one. So as you can see there, when you're pulling it through, it's just like a loop. So that will be all the way, and those two there have ended up on the second one, on the, sorry, on the same one there. So that's what it should kind of look like. It still doesn't really look like anything, anything but what we'll do now is, oh, it's more thunder. I'm just gonna. Did, did you hear the storm the other day? It was horrendous, wasn't it? it was really bad. And right, so should we? Stop? Right, so I'm just gonna. Just... If you want to stop the video, ready? I'm gonna pick up the bands. So just do the same process again, 
by putting the band over two pegs and overlapping them. After you finish putting your ribbon on. Oops. That's that one. Oh. Be careful you don't do that. Well, it doesn't really matter. It'll we'll just... Yeah. We'll just be careful. raining. I've always been changing a lot. It's sunny then it's rainy, sunny rainy, sunny rainy. It's the perfect thing to do when it's a rainy day. Mm -hmm. So we are just Continuing and continuing. And there we go. So again, you're going back putting the two bottoms over the two tops. These are quite good as well because they have little um, recesses in. It's nice and easy to get your hook down to pull them over, yeah. I just find it easier to go down to pull them over, but you can go... I say that as I uh, <laughs> leave a band, but you can go, if you want, you can go up. It just depends on whatever you f feel more comfortable with. See, I don't feel so comfortable doing that way. Yeah, so with me, I feel comfortable coming down and pulling over. So that's what you do again, you're just repeating. And you'll be able to. If you are doing rows, rows of colour as well, make sure that you have 24 of each band. So that's how many um, each row takes. Yeah. So basically, it's a, it's, um, a band for each for each um, peg. It's the easiest way because we discovered that we have enough of some of the purple, which is the darker purple. So yeah. we're just going to leave that one out this time for the rest of the bracelet. So. Again, we're just pushing them all down. This also stops you when you're putting another band on, maybe you know, going over to the bottom. And I know all these things you can come sometimes get a bit of a faffle. There if we go. One like frozen colours already put together for you. Um, go to the entertainer, and they have two different type of packs of frozen bands. So. If you want that, Where else did you see them? Wilkinsons, we yes, saw them, didn't Wilkinsons, we? Yeah. And I think, I believe, the Poundland also do actual frozen packs as well. But yeah. Wilkinsons had um, a variety of these ones. This is the one where there's the two mixture of bands, isn't it? Not to worry. Yeah, so they're the places to go if you want um, frozen colours put together for you. But we found some quite nice ones actually. It was in Poundland. There was some. Um, they were like pink glittery ones and then there was also just um, some kind of icy um, blue ones which were very pretty yeah. and then um, if you mix them with the, with the white, like the coconuts, it would smell nice too. Yeah, they've got lots of really nice scented bands. And if you want like the best scented band, I suggest the Jax um, branded loon bands because I've got... That's well, that's the brands of smellies I always get because they are the best and, and they're really good and they keep their scent for a long time. So I suggest getting those smelly ones if you like smellies. And the entertainers are completely stocked up in new men's there. Like they've got their own huge wall. And there's like um charity bands, isn't there? Mm -hmm. 
the Chubby Charms. So that just sends me my information for you. So there we go, we're doing the same process again. Pulling over the bottom band over the top. So we'll do the white ones and what we'll probably do is we'll stop the video until we're a bit further along so because it is the same process there's no different process until um you come towards the the end yeah so there we go we'll keep going keep going keep going and keep going See that all right? Mm -hmm. Oops, it is. Yeah, is that the more? Yeah, I think so. But you can again, you can double check if you do push them down. It's another good way of checking that you have got all of your bands pulled over that need to be pulled over. So we're going to do one more, and as I say, then we're going to just stop the video and we'll come back to you when we're a bit further along. So there you can see that's what it should look like now. It is starting to come in towards the middle. So I know you may think when you see it, it looks quite large to be like a bracelet. But it will start to go down uh, when it gets more into the middle. So that's how it creates the um, cuff bracelet. So again, we'll do this last one. And then we shall... Oops. And just another thing, make sure you're picking up one band, not two bands or more. Some of them do stick together a bit, don't they? Yeah. Keep going. I'm surprised Danib hasn't woke up yet. Yeah, he's having a good nap. Yeah. It's nearly done the last. No, no. There we go, the last one. There we go, so again, bottom back two over the top two, bottom two over the top two, over the top two. If you want, you can lay out your bands in rows of 24 if you want to, you know, create some sort of pattern or whatever but we're just doing a, a very simple very simple pattern yep. so this will now be eight eight rows that we've done
Is that the more? Yes, yeah. that's the more done. So we're now going to stop the video and get a bit more into the bracelet and then we'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. Back and this is what it looks like. So my mum has tied a bow there. So this is what you also look something like this. So it, it did start to go down the middle. So there, it's like that. So I'm just going to talk you through how to do the next step. Uh, and also this is about about 25 rows of loom bands right so what you want to do now is you've got two loom bands which is basically we've just pulled so we just need to quickly do this again as our camera didn't record so this part of the video is going to tell you how to take it off the loom so what you need to do is you put your ribbon on your needle and then you thread your needle through your two bands so you can sew whatever you like on um and you thread it through it like that make sure you pull it through not all the way but so you've got something to thread it Oh, my mum's just cut a bit too much off. Oopsies. Never mind. So you go under and then up over. Yep, under then up. Pull it through so you don't leave a big bit of ribbing there. Ribbon, sorry. A ribbon. Then you go down, then you pull it through like that. Then the next step is to go up the two bands and, and pull up, pull your ribbon up. You just basically do that all the way around. Yep, up and down, up and down, up and down, around the whole loom until you have pulled the ribbon through all of your two bands on each peg. For it all three, we're now going to take tell you the next step which is taking it off the loom so what you need to do you get your hook and you pull your band and your ribbon over off your peg like so so look like my mum's doing just like that so it is the same step all the way around the loom so um this is the last step so once you've done that your bracelet is completed so when we're taking it all off the loom, we'll show you. From the ribbon. So now your bracelet is taken off the loom. It should look something like this. Like that. Um, you may need to stretch it a bit just to go on your wrist. I'm going to show you on my wrists. And then we'll show you on my wrist. So then you will just literally slide them. And then you might need to puff it out, it rolls up a bit. So here is what it should look like, and you can tie your ribbon up so it looks really pretty with the bows. Like I need some help. <laughs> yeah. That's what, looks, that's what you should yeah. finish one should look like. Obviously you can um, just neaten these up a bit. So just pull them individually through each one, just to the end. Um, you can also tighten it up slightly with that method as well. But yeah, that's what it should look like. So I hope you enjoyed our video on how to make this wonderful bracelet. So this is a cuff bracelet if you are wondering. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Bye. So just you wondering, this is what our original frozen one looked like. So here's just a quick look at it. And then here's the one we um, just made. So comment down below and tell us which one you like best.